All right, y'all. This is for my friends who are asking me about coding and who want to learn about it, uh, especially those who are looking at boot camps. I went to General Assembly in Denver. General Assembly has, uh, it's like a franchise, so they got locations all around the world, like London, Singapore. Uh, I was going to go to LA, but I got family in Denver, so they wanted me to hang out with them. So I had a great time in boot camp. I really enjoyed it. Um, I, it was like 14, 12 weeks. And a lot of boot camps now do income sharing agreements. I didn't have that. With, we were the last one uh, at General Assembly to do to not have that option. So I paid up front, um, dipped into savings for that. It was around fourteen thousand. I imagine the price is around the same now. Income sharing agreements, though, typically wait till you make a certain amount to do it. Um, I wanted to do a camp and not learn it on my own because I wanted the guidance of a person in front of me. I also wanted to do it in person and not online. Going online can work for some folks and it lets you do part-time so you can stay in your job and not quit. However, I knew I just needed to be physically in a spot or else I'd have a really tough time focusing and just switching tabs and yeah, not getting it done. So 100% the right choice for me was to go in person. Uh, after camp 12 weeks, then I spent three months looking for a job. Somebody told me that I should expect to apply to 100 places, which was exactly the right expectation to set because I applied to 138 total. Number 93 was the job I got offered and accepted. There were other interviews in the works um, and like I was in the middle of a couple other ones. However, I wasn't gonna wait for those if I had an offer in hand that was acceptable enough for me. So I did that. Once you get your job, um, the most important thing is being at six months or more I was in it 11 months before I switched to another one. The first job is the hardest to get because everyone's trying to get that first one. It doesn't really matter. Um, as long as it's like coding and legit, then it doesn't matter so much what the job is. They just wanna know you're not an idiot. So that's why you gotta wait to the six month mark. Um, Cause if you leave before then, it's like people will think on your resume where you fired or you quit because you weren't that good. If you stay longer, if you stay like a year at least, really you should be at a, aim to be at a job at least two years, um, especially if that's not in your, if you have a history of switching jobs, you wanna try and stick with a job for a while, uh, if that's your goal. If your goal is to start your own business, then it doesn't really matter, I guess. But if you're trying to get a good job and get a better one afterward, stick with it. Um, hard minimum, six months, um, unless it's absolutely horrible. But yeah, think about how tough it is to get a job. Um, there are some companies like Reviture, for example, you do not want to join. Um, that is not a good deal and it's worth t taking another month or two to get a job that's not with them. So heads up, some people look for reviews online, especially if it's a big company. Look on Glassdoor. Um, anyway, all to say, I had a great time boot camp. Not everyone in my class did. Some people had tough times and didn't get jobs till a lot longer, like over a year. Uh, the shortest person, shortest wait for anyone was like six days. One woman in my class got a job in less than a week. Um, it was a great alignment for the company that she joined. And for me, it was three months. I was probably on the earlier side, but not by too much. I think most people got in by six. Um, but yeah, I had a great time. I was committed all the way. I told myself, even if I hate this, I'm going to stick to it. And I think that that mental trick meant that I ended up loving it because I was just all in from the start. So if you're gonna do a boot camp, um, if you're the kind of person who needs to be in person <laughs> to do it and not have to overthink uh, and like think of, get distracted easily, do it in person, don't do an online one. If you're really good at focusing, go ahead and do online because um, then that lets you go anywhere. You can save money, don't have to move. Um, but yeah, if you're trying to get into coding, General Assembly is great. There's plenty of other good ones out there. But I really enjoyed it and I'd recommend it to anyone who wants to become a software developer.